is half past three and I've just left the hairdressers. Um, I've gone grey. I'm not surprised with all the stress that's going on at the moment. But I'm just about to go home and eat for the first time today. And I'm frozen. I have just walked in. It's 20 to 4. I left home at 10 past 11. Um, and I've been at the hairdresser since half 11 getting my hair drawn. It took a long time. But I'm fully grey now. Um, I liked when my lilac went into grey, faded. So I've gone for grey myself. Um, I'm probably not going to want to be grey when I'm an old lady. But um, I am totally digging grey hair at the moment. Um, so yeah. I'm grey and I'm starving. So I'm just looking what I can actually have to eat. Um, it's either going to be a sausage sandwich or beef sandwich. Um, yeah. Um, I don't know what I want but I know I desperately want food and oh my god this hair looks amazing. It's actually darker, it's darker than I was going to go for. Um, I wanted something slightly darker than what it was but not very dark and this is the this is how it come out but I am super duper happy with my hair like because I was considering going dark brown again because of how depressed I'm feeling and how people attacking me and making me feel but I just thought I had it done last year and um, it was a nightmare to get to back to blonde, blonde because I kept having to go and have it bleached and bleached and bleached um, so I just thought I'm not going to go brown because I only want to go dark brown because of how low I'm feeling so I've gone grey because I'm absolutely loving anything grey at the moment as you can see I'm wearing a grey jumper so yeah I'm happy with it um, I don't feel like very much happiness at the moment anyway because of everything that's going on but it's nice to actually get something that you want and it's come out better than I thought and it's come out better than she thought it would so I'm a very very happy person about my hair anyway so I'm probably just going to stir at it for a while but now I need to decide if I want sausage sandwich which I would normally have Saturday lunchtime or beef I've... I'm going to go for sausage and I'll be back <clears throat> I am um, quite um, down and because I know I'm probably going to feel worse as everything hits me yet again because of that one person who's made me feel like this all the time um, I'm going to try and get as much done over the weekend because I just feel like um, next week and I'm just I know how I'm going to get I'm going to get worse as it goes over my head everything all the nasty things that she said to me um it was very hurtful and she hit every little insecurity i've got and she knows all my little insecurities um so i'm going to struggle so i'm hoping to get ahead on my blog post i've got the next four days done anyway but um i want to get a maybe five to ten more done and scheduled and i'm going to edit all the footage I've got up on this channel for these videos so um, I'm trying to get two weeks ahead because I know what's going to happen based on how I'm feeling today I feel worse than yesterday and worse than the day before so it is going to get worse so I'm going to have to try and push through and do as much as I can over this weekend and because it's four o'clock now I'm not going to get as much done today I mean I know I don't get started until later on anyway but um, yeah I'm just going to try and get ahead because I just know how I'm feeling and I don't want to let myself down as in I've said I'm going to daily put put things on my blog put things on my blog every single day and I was going to um, get a, a video up on this channel every day and um, I know based on how I'm feeling now I'm only going to get worse so whilst I've got the chance before I get worse I'm going to try and get as much done as I can um, but you know I'd rather just go and lie in bed right now to be honest but it's horrible when people do this to you but what can I say um, she's a little cutie 
And she knows I'm talking about her because I only ever use the word cutie about this one. Donna, what have you been doing? Have you been sleeping? Yeah? Uh, yes, I have. Because all I do is sleep and eat. Yeah. Have you seen that dog? <laughs> With a bottle. She likes to take the lids off. Oh, did you knock it over? Did you? You got another one on the floor. I've just had a hour worth of chilling out on the sofa. Um, I was so glad to get home. I'm not liking being out of the house at the moment because of how I'm feeling. So we're sitting in the hairdressers from half eleven till going up for half three. It wasn't ideal for me today. So I've just had an hour and she's still there on the sofa and I think I'm going to put some pyjama bottoms on and um, some slippers because I'm so rock and roll. Then I'm going to try and get some blog posts done. Um, probably a couple. I'm going to try for a couple anyway. And then I don't know. What else I'm gonna do tonight? I mean, I'm not in the mood to get anything done, or I don't know, I'm just kind of struggling at the moment, but at least I've gotten out today and got my hair done, even though I would have happily cancelled it because of how I'm feeling. I'm glad I didn't, and I don't like letting people down, so. I've got grey hair so I'm happy. I got some Christmas pyjamas. I know I've got the pink ones, but after I got the pink ones, I saw these on ASOS and I absolutely love Elf, so I had to get them. That's the top and I've got the bottoms on, which are these um, just red ones with Santa sleigh and candy canes on. Um, I'm not going to put the top on right now because I'm going to put my jumper back on but I just thought I'd show you my new pyjamas oh and it's plain on the back so I'm still upstairs I've not been up here ages but I really like being in my bedroom at the moment I know it's because I feel down and um, everything but yeah um, I need to get a drink because I've not drank much today and I'm very dehydrated I've just spotted my foundation without its lid on and seeing as it's 32 pounds a bottle I don't want it to dry out so I don't know what I've done with the lid I can't see it on the floor where have I put the lid I think I'm totally losing my mind if you were a lid oh it's in my drawer <laughs> if you were a lid where would you be yeah because Lids have their own mind, apparently. I was so tired when I got up this morning. I literally poured my foundation all over the place. Um, I don't even know how I managed to do it. I literally just... Um, I don't even know what I did. And it went down the jumper that I've been wearing. And I'm there like with makeup remover wipes, like trying to get it off. Um, it didn't want to come off. And then I'm using my cellar water and that helped a lot. And then I went down and used some furry liquid. And I got it off enough to be able to wear it. Because, you know, when you've got your mind set on wearing something. And I was like, I want to wear this jumper. Um, I think it's my only like kind of knitted jumper. I know it's not like proper like grandma knitted jumper but it's possibly my only knitted jumper I'm just looking across at my wardrobe to confirm that and it is I'm gonna have to get another one I'm so tempted to get this jumper again and I know when I bought it I remember saying on one of these vlogs that it was itchy and I think once I've washed it it won't be itchy anymore and um, that was actually the case but I'm really into grey at the moment so I may get another one it's not washing as well as I'd like. It is kind of doing that bubbling, bobbling, furry thing. If that actually makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, so, But it's only £18, so I could either get like an £18 jumper or get something more expensive on ASOS. I'm going to have a look on ASOS now and 
see if there's anything I can get. If not, I'm going to get that because I just like the colour and it's the perfect length for me.